we need to fix something very serious. Huh? I can't hear you. You're sure? Yes. Okay. Professor. I am no longer here. Professor. Listen to me. Where are you? The angel of the Lord came to me. And when the angel of the Lord came to me, he grabbed my hand. I saw a whirlwind in the spirit. I entered the whirlwind. I was taken out of America and I landed in Africa. But when I landed in Africa, it was very strange because me myself, I have never stepped in the country that my father comes from. I found myself in Kinshasa. I landed in the Congo. Yes. Have you ever been to Congo? Professor, I'm, I'm from Congo. Professor. <laughs> now, the angel of the Lord ministered to me that you need deliverance and this deliverance must go from where you come from. Come on. Are you listening to me? Listen to you. First of all, we need to fix a thing to do with death. Are you listening to me? Yes, because I am seeing this death is not just physical death, mm. but it is the dryness of men in your family. Yes. That they don't become anything. Everything about them breaks apart. True. If somebody is about to start something, they never fulfill it it falls apart through when the lord brought you to this nation there is something that happened i saw you in a vision and in this vision i saw you dressed in white and i saw you walking in the hospital and the angel of the lord told me this guy was supposed to become a doctor because his family believed in him to be a doctor him himself yes. he saw himself to be a doctor yes. but when he came to this place the enemy interfered crippled everything and you are not able to do anything to do with that yes. is this true or not true, true. Huh? true. Professor. i'll go to the overflow <laughs> now watch this bishop now this is premature death we need to fix. I am seeing something that came from your grandfather. These guys did some things. Something affected your father. And the same thing is chasing after you. Now, the good news is that the Lord has drawn you to himself. And God is about to unlock your life for you. Now, this is very important because we are going to deal with what happened with your family. This thing will be broken. This is premature death, unnecessary death. You will not die before your time. You fulfill your purpose. Hallelujah. But. We need to fix something. Mm -hmm. We're going to pray for this family thing from where you come from. We need to fix this thing in the Congo. Because the angel of the Lord, we went there, we came back. When God speaks, something is going to happen. Amen. But there is another thing I want to fix. This one is important because it has to do with your future. Is it okay if I speak? Yeah. You're sure? Prophesy. Okay. Prophesy. In 2019, you are in a relationship with a certain woman. Are you listening to me? Yes. Uh, come, come. Come, come, my daughter. Come, come. Yeah, come, come. She's not like her. She's not from her country. But she's from that side of the world. Yes. Uh, what was she? Korean. Thank you. Professor. Now, 2019 is when this thing started. But the relationship did not end correctly. Yes. There's something bad that happened. The way this thing ended was not the right way. Yes. I saw this person complaining in the spirit mm. huh? yeah. 
You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know, I know. You don't need to open details because I will if you don't respond. I want to just keep it because you know. Yeah. So I don't need to dive into deep into it. Is that okay? Yeah, okay. yeah so respond to me like you know. <laughs> so this thing did not end well. But your side, you did not take care of it the right way. You know, even if you're going to go separate ways, it's okay. Sometimes things don't work out. It's fine. It's part of life, right? Sometimes things work. Sometimes things don't work out. But if the split is wrong and somebody cries with your name, mm. see, God will come. God is a God of vengeance. If there is injustice, God is going to intervene. We need to settle these things spiritually. Because I'm seeing since that whole thing dissolved, it is like your life even went backwards even more. Mm. Prophesize. <laughs> Prophesize. Your own energy to even go after things is gone. Everything about you is even slower than it should be. But the Lord said, today because of what you're hearing. Amen. The curse from the family will be broken. Amen. This thing will be taken from you. Yeah. And your destiny will be open yeah. in the mighty name of Jesus. Stretch your hands towards him and begin to pray for him. Pray for him. Let me help very quickly, Mama. I saw the hand of God upon your daughter. Okay? And the Lord says that there is a great breakthrough that the Lord is about to release upon your house Thank you. and the Lord is going to do it because of the great love of God that he has for you not because of anything you have done not because of anything that I will do but because of what Jesus has accomplished for us on the cross now hear me carefully there is a double blessing that is coming to you Amen. are you listening to me woman of God Hallelujah. I saw you carrying this one on one hand and I saw another one like her on the other hand. Are you listening to me? There's two blessings coming upon two girls. Are you listening to me? I saw an A on this one's forehead. Are you listening to me, Mama? Yes. I saw the letter A written on her forehead. And then I saw, why are you surprised? Uh, I, when you mentioned two girls, I, I have two daughters. Of course. <laughs> Amber and Autumn. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I just, you know, I should have continued to prophesy. I just saw Mama's jaw like, ah. <laughs> it is the Lord Jesus. It is the angel of the Lord standing next to me that is speaking to me. It is speaking to me by the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. So I saw an A on her forehead. But as I kept looking in the vision, I saw you holding <laughs> one girl in one hand and the other on the other hand. The Lord said that he's going to touch both of them. So the blessing of the Lord is going to rest upon your daughter and he will transfer to the other one. What you could not accomplish, God will do it through your children. And what you wanted to see happen, God will fulfill it through your children. They will wipe all your tears. And your days to come will be much sweeter. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your days to come will be much sweeter than any other time that you have known. Thank you. The blessing of God will rest on you. God will restore you. God will restore your house. God will change things and bring things to fulfillment. Thank you. Stretch your hands towards mom mm -hmm. and her daughter. I want you to declare the best of God's blessings on them. Before I pray for them, lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Uh, the ones that have the thing that says uh, El Paso, El Paso, right? El Paso. Let me ask you, 
a very interesting question because I saw a vision I didn't understand. Is there anyone that is in prison or that has been arrested? Yes. Who is that? It's me. It's you? Come. Yes, Professor. <laughs> Come quickly. Where's, that? Where's the El Paso woman? Please go, go that way. Go that way. Quickly. 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 Are you still here? Yes. Are you sure? Ah, uh, this. Because I saw something interesting. It was very strange to me. Yes. Okay. And uh, when you are standing there, all of a sudden I saw police lights. It's true. I saw police lights flashing. And then I saw police cars. And then I saw somebody being taken and being closed, locked up. And I didn't understand because the person, I did not see the person themselves. But I knew immediately somebody had been arrested. Was that you? You said yes. it was you? Yes. Well, how long ago was this? Uh, in August. In August? Yes. Okay. August. Professor. Woman of God, there is a family deliverance you need. Amen. Amen. You need deliverance for you and your whole house. Yes, Baba. Uh, there is a major spirit of discord that the enemy has thrown over you people. Yes, Papa. But the Lord said that he's going to deliver you. Amen. And if the Lord shows me what I saw from there, I was browsing quickly. And the angel of the Lord caught my attention on that. It's true. When the Lord touches you, he's not only going to deliver you, but everyone else that you brought... The Lord is going to deal with everything else. Thank you. The devil is a liar. Amen. Amen. The devil is a liar. Amen. The devil is a super liar. Amen. Ah, my heart became heavy for you, woman of God. My heart became heavy for you. Okay. This is what the angel of the Lord ministered to me and I saw. When I was about to lay my hands on you, he stopped me. He showed me this. <laughs> Prophet, you're going to love this. God is a good God. This is what the Lord showed me. In my vision, I saw you going to court. Are you listening to me? Yes, Papa. And the court was not really for you. I saw them discussing about taking a child from you. Yes, Papa, it's true. I saw a little girl yes, Papa, on your true. left hand. Prophesy. And I saw that it was a legal battle whereby you want your child, but as we are speaking, your child is already snatched from your hands. It's true. Right now, your prayer is, Lord, bring me back my child. Because everything that can be put against you it's to true. make you unfit, to look like you're crazy, to look like you cannot take care of your child has happened. It's you are on the losing end of this, but the Lord says you are coming out on top. Yeah. Oh, Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every plan of the enemy, every plan of the enemy to bring trouble, to bring trouble, to divide my family, to, my family, to scatter my family. Let it be broken. Lift up your voice. Begin to break it. Begin to break it. Listen to me, woman of God. This is for you because God is answering your prayer. Amen. In the spirit. In the spirit. I saw the enemy. Okay, I saw the enemy. Had opened your husband's mind and took his mind. Professor, Professor. As I am speaking to you, this man sometimes is himself, sometimes he's not. Yes, Lord. Are you listening to yes, me? Prophesy. One minute is normal, the next minute is a yes, different person. Prophesy. Sometimes he will be at home, sometimes he will disappear yes, from home. Prophesy. Nobody knows where he is. Prophesy. And then he will show up. It's like there is another man that is in him. Prophesy. Pro He's a sweet guy. Then all of a sudden, he will become ragey Prophesy. and different. Prophesy. That evil spirit just left him. <laughs> <laughs> Are you listening?
listening to me yes because i saw voices whispering to yes, him yes lord yes speaking to him you yes. will hear voices in his yes. mind yes yes i'm i'm yes professor <laughs> yeah am i talking the truth no you you're speaking facts huh you're speaking facts i'm speaking what facts facts you will hear voices in your mind saying do this do that do this do that it is like paranoia sometimes you think yeah. everyone is after you yes. yeah. everyone is against you yes that demon started following you when you are 23 years old oh, wow. oh. professor i saw in the month of july july when you are 23 this spirit followed you yes lord are you listening to yes. me yes I don't know what is celebrated in July but I saw this spirit coming after you in the month of July when you are 23. Yes Lord. Yes. The Lord said this is the end of your suffering. Yes. Yes. Touch your neighbor said this is the end of my suffering. Yes. Touch your neighbor said this is the end of my Look at me. Stand a little bit faster. Leave him. Leave him. Leave him. Leave him. Come out. Come out of him. Never return again. In the name of Jesus. You are free and your house is free. Hallelujah. Begin to declare freedom over your house, over your family. Hear me, woman of God. The Lord wants to wipe your tears. Amen. And God has begun already to wipe your tears. Amen. I saw visions of God when I looked at you. Mm, and I saw something that God wanted to do in your life. Amen. Spiritually, I saw an evil and wicked spirit <laughs> that the enemy had ordained for your family to be destroyed. God, no, no. No. There is a spirit that I saw that entered into your family. No, Lord. And this spirit's attempt is to repeat what happened to your mom. God. To happen to you. God forbid. And to happen to three girls that I saw standing around oh, you. Lord, no. Oh, no. Can you hear me, woman yes, of God? Yes. How many daughters do you have? Three. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to myself. I saw three girls while you're standing here. I saw three girls around you. And the Lord told me, cancel what started with her father. This is what I saw in visions of God. I saw that there is a spirit that is fighting families in your family, in your bloodline. Uh -huh. I saw your mother and I saw her moaning and crying. I saw your mother weeping because the enemy had taken her husband before time. Mm. I saw her standing like in the month of March. It was like February going to March. And I saw your mother's heart breaking. I, the angel of the Lord did not show me the year. But I saw her mourning for her husband, which is your father. Mm. Can you hear me, woman of God? Yes. Is this maybe true, somehow true, or is it not true? It's true. Your mother was crying because her husband had passed away. But it was an evil spirit that was attempting to cripple the promise of God mm. in the family. Come on. But I saw that the blessing of God had already been transferred into you. Amen. Amen. Out of five children, out of five children, out of five children, I saw God marked you. Amen. How many were you? How many were you? Five. Children.
children. Five children. I saw God put the seal on her and pulled her up. So while the enemy was following the father and the brothers, God had hidden his promise with her. Uh As we are speaking right now, the enemy picked it up spiritually. And the enemy is thinking, because this promise was with a woman and he did not catch it. His utmost desire is to now attack your three daughters. Mm. Somebody said the devil is a liar. The, the devil is a liar. I can't hear you say the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. I can't hear you shout the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. So the enemy is looking for ways to destroy their homes and the lives of your girls. But the Lord said, <laughs> mm. I said the Lord said yes Lord yes Lord I don't know why is this yours it's my son I came here with the two of them one refused to come to the church question for you which one is this one it's the last one Some of you didn't get it. You are a spirit, sir. <laughs> Some of you didn't understand what I did. If you are there last night, you will understand. Yes. The Lord told me do this. <laughs> what is your son's name? Linwell. Huh? Linwell. W- sorry? Linwell. What is his full name? A bit linear, but what does the last name mean? But I don't know the meaning of the last. Name. Hey, hey, mama. <laughs> and what does lean? Lin? Lin, well, what, what does that mean? That sounds like an angelic name. <laughs> well, who, who gave them the name? It's my brother. Your brother. Okay. I saw the hand. God told me, put your hands like this. So I did this. Oh Lord. Inside my spirit, I already knew this is the youngest. <laughs> But I did this for a sign for you. (laughs) The Lord said, cross your hands. By crossing my hands, I knew immediately that the one who will wipe the tears of the family is this one. I feel like I'm prophesying to myself. I saw the Lord making this one great. I saw the Lord making this one great. Now, I don't know why I saw it this way. I'm just going to ask. I don't know. I saw him who dressed like military. You you hear me, mama? Yes, ma'am. Like a soldier. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. I saw you dressed like, you know, uh, is it called Air Force or something? Mm-hmm. But I saw you dressed like military, mm-hmm. standing upright. Yes. The Lord said, I have found my Joshua for the family. <laughs> the one who will bring the family into the promise. Your other child will also be delivered. Don't worry. He will be free. Yes. The Lord. things that the enemy has tried to put on him because I'm seeing him being trouble. Yes. Causing you a lot of pain. Yes. Back yes. and forth pain. Yes. Trouble after trouble. Yes. 
you have to bail out you have to do this you have to do that you have to do this the lord said relax leave him to me amen this year i am the shepherd i will go for him stand up mama stand up stand up say in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus in the powerful name of jesus in the powerful name of jesus my children are secure. My children are secure. I will not worry about them. I will not worry about them. For the shepherd shall go for them. For the shepherd shall go. For them. Lift up your voice and begin to pray for your children and your seed to come. In Jesus mighty name. Did you come by yourself? To bring, tell your wife to come. Wife, come, 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 don't cry, please, stop crying, please don't cry, don't cry, lift your hands to the Lord, lift your hands to the Lord. Now, there is a wicked spirit we need to remove from your family. Are you listening to me? Yes. There is a tormenting spirit that is following your family. Is this your first time here? Yes. Yeah. Did you guys travel to be here? Yes. Where did you travel from? Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Yes. Now, we need to pray because there is a spirit of witchcraft that is following your house even though you are prayerful people. Prophesy. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yes. There is a strong battle that is in your house, even though you are people who are loving God. Amen. When you two came together, are you listening to me? Yes. There was a discord in the spirit. Are you listening to me? Yes. Because spiritually, I don't know why I am seeing it this way. I am seeing somebody claiming her before you two came together. Yes. What is yes? Yes, she was married. She was married. Clap for Jesus. Hey, Professor. Hey, hey. <laughs> I, I don't like the energy in here. Maybe I should... <laughs> Can the main sanctuary hear me? Can the main sanctuary hear me? If you can hear me, wave your hands! Now, hear me by the Spirit of God. Where's Prophet Obed? Come, where are you, Prophet? Stand next to me now. Don't go far. The root of your problem, the root of your problem, is I saw you two coming together, but there is somebody that is claiming this woman. Because how I am seeing it spiritually, is it okay for me to speak? Yes, sir. Woman of God, is it okay for me to speak? Yes. Eh? Is it okay? Yes, Papa. This man was not a very good man. Are you listening to me? Yes. He was not a good man. In fact, he abused you a lot. He was not good to you. Yes. It is like you escaped this situation. Yes. yes. You escaped. You escaped because I am seeing you singing for the Lord. You know how people worship and sing for God. This is what you wanted to do for God. These yeses are too small. You, you know, because people will look at me and think I am lying. I saw you are loving to worship God. This yes. was your desire be from the time you were young. Yes. Father, I just want to sing for you. I want to adore you. I want to minister. I want to evangelize. When you met this man, he pretended to be in the form of a man of God. Yeah. Eh? Eh. And he pretended to be in the form of a man of God. But when you got married to him, you discovered he was not what he was. That's true, Papa. In fact, 
you are number three because there were two other people. Eh? That is true. That is what? It is what? It's true, yes. You discovered uh, that there were two other people. Uh, and these two other people also even, one of them even had children. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Not both of them, one. The one that had children, I saw three. Uh-huh. One was a girl, a boy, and then there was a girl. Yes. And he hid it from you, you didn't know. You came to discover this after you were entangled and then you are like, how can this man be like this? Yes. Yes. So you started pursuing an escape. Yes. You started looking for an escape. Yes. Yes. Then you had a dream from the Lord. And the Lord spoke to you that he's going to remove you from the country that you are in. Uh-huh. And he's going to translate you into another place. And then he will send you another person. Now hear me. Hear me by the spirit. Hear me by the spirit. By the time you met this guy, you knew him. But he did not really know you. In your spirit, you already knew this is the person that God has given to me. But him, he came to catch on to it later, not presently. Am I prophesying or? You are. Put the mic on him. Is this true or not? Yes, it's true. When you guys decided to be together, you decided to fast and pray. You said we are going to fast for seven days. Yes. Seek the Lord and see if this is God's will. Yes. Now. (laughs) As you pursued God and you sought God and you prayed. Indeed it was the Lord's will. Amen. In fact, I am seeing something strange that used to go on with your stomach. Yes, it's true. It's true. Yes. That during that time when you guys came together and you were fasting and praying, that thing that was in your stomach also stopped. Hey, yes, hey. it's true. That's how it's oh. I think I'll go somewhere. This was like an ulcer within yeah, your stomach. Yes, true. It will hurt so much. Yes. But this healing was a sign from God. Yeah. Testifying that you are in the right place. Amen. But the issue now is when you two came together, you did your thing. You did not have somebody empowered by God to savor the old covenant. Because now, when this man goes to sleep, not even you, him, there is an entity that comes into his dream. Yes. And this man has bad nightmares. It is like he's fighting with somebody. Either somebody is chasing them. Or either he sees himself like he's drowning. Or either he sees himself like he's in a battle. I'm Am I talking? Huh? Talk to me, talk to me. I'm, I'm, always, I'm always seeing myself doing tests on exam that I don't pass always. Listen. This guy is uh, fighting you people because spiritually he is still in the house. This is why when you were carrying your child, you almost lost her. Yes, it's true. Prophesy. At six months, at six months, you are having complications. One day you woke up and you bled. You went to the bathroom and you bled. You actually thought that there was some form of miscarriage or something. Eh? Mm. 
Mama. Yes, true, man. God. You are scared. You are like, am I losing the child? You went to the hospital. They said, no, it's okay. Because also it was like iron deficiency was strong. The blood and all these things oh, were weird. Yes. <laughs> now, this was that spirit fighting. Fighting really difficult. Fighting a very hard battle to make sure you too go your separate ways. In fact, when you were pregnant, you guys were bumping heads a lot. A lot. A whole lot. Yes. yes. You are even asking yourself, man, maybe you just have the child there. I would just support you from. We, we can't be too, because your fights didn't even make sense. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. It's true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> now, now, the Spirit of the Lord told me, first of all, as we are speaking, I don't know why the angel of the Lord went to like the eastern part of Africa. You know, like East Africa. It comes from Kenya. Come from. Huh? come from Kenya. That's where you come from. Yes. Thank you. Prophesy. Prophesy. The angel of the Lord went to this side. But it is weird because I am seeing the angel of the Lord looking at Uganda like it's over oh, there. I've been in Uganda. <laughs> <laughs> now, the angel of the Lord is in this territory. He went to undo something. First of all, you see when you are in Nairobi, because I know this place, I grew up there. You see when you are in Nairobi, okay, when you are in the city in Nairobi. Yes. Uh, what is it like when you are going to like Ukambani and stuff? Okay. Uh -huh. The angel of the Lord went to that place first. He went to destroy a charm that was formed in that place. Oh, my parents taught in Ukambani before uh, I was born. Huh? My parents taught in Ukambani before I was born. Clap for Jesus. Prophesy. Prophesy. He went to this place and destroyed a charm that was formed in that place. And then he went towards this other side, towards the, the western side, and destroyed another charm that was in that way. Then now I am seeing him going into Nairobi itself, uh, locating this person. Yes. And I am seeing him going to like Eastlands. I don't know if you guys know uh, where Eastlands yeah. is. Eh? Yes, yes, I do, Papa. Go on. Do you, who lived like in the Eastlands area? I lived in Nairobi West. Okay. But um, yeah, I had a boyfriend who was in <laughs> <laughs> No, this is not even to do with East, your boyfriend. This is not even you. If you know where that man is right now, the one that used to be with you. Oh, yes. Where does he live? Oh. <laughs> so, right, he used to live in Eastlands, yes. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not talking yes, about sir. that guy. I'm talking about him. Yes, he huh? yes, used to live in Eastlands. In Eastlands, towards the airport side. Yes. He used to be in that area. Yes, yes, yes. Because I'm seeing the angel of the Lord going to that area and disconnecting you because even when you guys started whatever kind of whatevering, he was also still kind of in that region. So God is undoing the patterns from the past. Amen. Amen. The spirit of the Lord is saying this. There is some weird skin thing that is happening to your child. Chris. Are you listening to me? It's some form of rashes or something yeah, like yeah. that. Can you yes, hear me? Yes. It's some form of rash. Yeah. The Lord said, this is a sign unto you that as you live here, those rashes will start to go away. Amen. To show you that what has been fighting you, fighting your child and your marriage is broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> Lift your hands to God. Glory. Father, thank you that your children are free. Amen. Listen, money is coming, hey. open doors are coming, elevation is coming. When you leave this place, every one of you, Amen. you are entering into the destiny of God. Yeah. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Take out your cell phones. Light man, cut the lights off. Lift up your phones, light up your phones. Lighter, lighter, lighter. Light everywhere, light your lights. Dim the lights, dim the lights. Dim the lights. This coming year you will shine brighter than the stars. 
I said this coming year you will shine brighter than the lights. Brighter than the stars. Are you ready? One, two, three, go!
your feet, stop 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 your fe
Listen, are you still here? Yeah. Are you sure you're here? Yeah. Every overflow, are you here? Yeah. Those who are online, are you here? Yeah. I have the last one for you. A real last one. Are you sure you want to do it? Yeah. Are you sure you want to do it? Yeah. All on my head, 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 all on my head. There is a certain curse that is following you. Yes. And I will tell you how the angel of the Lord revealed it to me. Prophesy. When I was about to tell you to go, the angel of the Lord told me, pay attention to the smell. Mm. I said, what smell? I said, pay attention. And when I looked at you, there is a scent that came from you. And this scent was a scent of pee. And the angel of the Lord told me that you had a spirit following you that caused you also to wet the bed. Prophecy. Uh, is this true or not yes, true? Papa. Uh -huh. Prophesy. Prophesy. Listen, woman of God, this is not to embarrass you because it's a spirit. It's really a spirit. Are you listening yes, to, to me? It's a spirit. I saw this spirit has come to you three times in the course of your life. Yes, Papa. Three times. And what this spirit has done is there is a scent that is following you. That you also, the area of relationships, oh my is dead because of that spirit. Hundred and fifty percent. So what happens is whenever she meets a person, somebody will automatically dislike you, but they will not know what they are disliking. It's that scent that is repelling people from you. It's a spiritual thing. Mm. But because of Jesus, this thing will be broken. Amen. Hallelujah. Because of Jesus, this thing will what? Be broken. Amen. Because what it has done, you see, let me explain to you this way. Your mother also in a relationship, she did failed. Mama also failed. That's true. Okay? Mama failed. That's true. The same spirit did the similar Wish. thing to your mother. That's true. When your mother was 17 years old, the same thing the devil did to her. She Boy. went through the same ex experience. Oh, Is that true, Mama? Professor. Put 
to put on my mom. Mama, what did you it's say? It's true. It's true. It's vrai. It's vrai. At 17 ans. At, 17. At the age of 17. Yes, it's true. And it happened to her? Yes. yes. At 17. <laughs> yes. Bro. Bro. <laughs> At 17, this demon followed your mother. Yes. And it did the same thing to your mother. Yes. By the time your mother got into relationship, she got you, everything fell apart. The person also left. You also, when you got to the same age, was the first time that demon also visited you. The first time, 17, you also peed in your sleep. Oh. by reason of the same demon and you also after that nothing is stable with relationships nice. <laughs> same age huh? you also seven. did your mother ever tell you about this she never told you so even you you're shocked Oui, je lui ai dit, elle connaît, elle connaît mon histoire. Okay, yeah, she told her, she told her and she said she knows the story. So did yeah. mama ever tell you about this? Yeah, she told me, but I didn't know the age, but she told me what happened when she was really young. Okay, but she didn't yeah. tell you the age. Yeah. But Clap. it happened to me when I was 17. It happened to you when you were 17 too. Clap for Jesus. <laughs> look, look, look at this, children of God. Listen to me. Look at how Jesus is concerned. He knows every you think at every detail. Yeah. Every detail concerning your life, God has it with him. A prophet simply is put into that detail to look and to see in order for him to unravel what is hiding in the background so that you may receive the life that God has ordained for you. And many of you don't understand why so many people are trying to deceive you to make you to fight prophets. I'm not saying there are no fake prophets. There are fake prophets, there are fake pastors, there are fake evangelists, there are fake teachers, there are fake apostles. But just because something can be fake, it doesn't mean there is an origin, there's no original. Amen. Every fake is because there is an original. Amen. How many people in this church that are healed? How many people in this church that are delivered? Yeah. How many people in this church that are healed? One camera in five, four, three, two. God bless you all, God bless you all, God bless you all in the name of the Lord Jesus. 
I am so privileged by the Holy Spirit to be with you and I am excited about uh, the amazing things we are going to talk about today and I know the Lord Jesus will be glorified and be lifted. I want you to let somebody know that we are live, share the link, Amen. text somebody and um, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be outstanding and, and God will surely, surely, surely um, reveal himself amongst us. Uh, I am so excited for this because I understand that, um, you know, every moment we have to get close to God, to know the Lord, is another opportunity to to grow in Him. And our growth in the Spirit is not in merely reading or praying. It is in the revelation knowledge we have concerning God. Amen. That is why the Bible says that we ought to know Him, not just to be born again, not just to receive Him, but we need to know Him. It is a calling to know him. We have to strive to know him. Because the more we know about God, the more we know about God, the greater our place and our position in him is, and the more God can use us. Amen. So what I'm going to be speaking about is going to be sensitive. It may be one of those delete videos, depending on how things go. If I get too carried away, then it's going to be a delete video. Amen. If I stay kind of, you know, in the shallow end a little bit, I mean, nothing about this will be shallow, but, and I don't think anything about God is shallow, but I think that if it is the regular thing, that's the right wording. If it's one of the regular things, then we'll just leave it on. Um, you know, um, it, it is amazing to see how many people are being touched by what God has given to us. Amen. You see, there are some people that, um, I always say this and I say this with all love. If you ever see a man or a woman take a whole hour, or even five minutes, ten minutes, talking about you, just know you're doing the work of God and you're doing it perfectly. Amen. Some people need to bring you down in order to validate they are Christianity. Uh, there are people who have to do that. They feel the need to say you are wrong. So that they feel good about themselves. Um, and, and I'm always encouraged because when I see those things, then I know that even demons that are hiding in children of God are being exposed. Amen. Because you start seeing people who are supposed to be lovers of God insulting people calling people names, <laughs> immediately you know that what is inside of them is shaken. So I want you to know that if you have not become a topic, you're not on top. Okay. <laughs> I'll say that one more time. If you, if you have never become a, tombi, a topic, you've never been on top. So I am grateful to God to all those who would say things or you know, there are many people that instead, they, and they love God. Talk about what you know about God. Yeah. Why are you busy talking about other people? It's because you have nothing from God. He didn't even call you. You make it to heaven. Anyone that gives their life to Jesus will go to heaven. You know, I'm not here to say who's going to hell or not. We know those who don't have Christ are definitely going to hell. But these people have the need to validate themselves so much to say, you are not a Christian. That's one is a Christian. Wow. You just realize that you're doing so well that they need your name to get an audience. Mm. Mm. If they post themselves, they will not get anyone. Yeah. That's good. So we encourage them to keep doing that because every time people see those videos, they go and look at me, they realize that I'm talking about Christ right. and they love Jesus the more. Yeah. So it's free marketing and we celebrate Jesus for it. Yeah. Somebody clap your hands for that. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make us any difference. <laughs> but Jesus is Lord regardless of all. Now hear me and hear me by the Spirit of God. Amen. I'm going to be speaking about something very beautiful, very profound, because it is in the mind of God. Now, I am going to read some scriptures for you and then I will start breaking it down. And then I will open your eyes by the grace of God for you to actually see hidden truths that have been be right before you. And then you will begin to understand 
why certain people function a certain way in God and why others don't. Mm. I'm going to be talking about the lost thrones of God. The lost thrones of God. Somebody just typed the lost thrones of God. The lost thrones of God. Uh, one more time. The lost thrones of God. One more time. <laughs> Ah, it's too much. Now, let's go to the Bible really quick. This is a sweet one. This is a sweet one. Uh, Colossians chapter 1, verse 15 to 16. Amen. Mm -hmm. Who is the image of the invisible God? Uh -huh. He's talking about the Lord Jesus. Who is the inv image of the invisible God, meaning God cannot be seen, but he materialized himself through the person of the Lord Jesus. That's why we say God reincarnated, God in the realm of, of creation. Mm. Okay, keep going. Amen. Who is the image of the invisible God? Uh -huh. The firstborn of every creature. Mm -hmm. For by him were all things created mm -hmm. that are in heaven and mm -hmm. that are in earth. One Visib more time. By him what? For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, mm -hmm. visible and invisible. What? Notice that by him all things were created, visible things and invisible. Mm. I want you to pay attention to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When we say invisible, or the Bible says invisible, it is not necessarily speaking about heaven. It's just saying what is around you but you cannot see. Mm. Okay. Mm. It is substance, it is material, but your eyes cannot see it. But it doesn't mean that it's not there. Mm. Okay, I think you guys are too calm for me. No, this can is you great. refresh YouTube for me so I can see um, those, those who are online? I think the people in here are too... We're learning. <laughs> I'm trying to communicate, but I don't know if... Uh... <laughs> We're here. Read that part again, like, like savor the word when you're reading it. Mm -hmm. Go again. Uh -huh. For by him were all things created mm -hmm. that are in heaven and that are in earth. Yes. Visible and invisible. Notice things that are in heaven and things that are in the earth. Mm. So in heaven also, there are things that are invisible. Mm. We are going Go somewhere. Deep. We haven't even spoken yet. We haven't ah. even started. Come on. We're ready. We're ready. Somebody will say, well, how is that possible? Yeah. Well, if you read in Revelation, it tells you clearly. As mighty angel said, who can open the scrolls? Mm. And who has the power to do it? Oh, my goodness. The man of God looked in heaven on the earth and under the earth and he could find no one. Mm. Then an elder came and said, look over there. Mm. <laughs> the lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed to open the scroll. Notice they were in heaven and Jesus was in heaven, but they didn't see him. Oh my gosh. They didn't even know there was somebody in heaven that could open the scroll. Oh John gosh. said, I looked in heaven. There was nobody. On the earth, there was nobody and under the earth. Now I want to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Think about it. I looked in heaven, on the earth, and under the earth, and there was nobody. What is under the earth? Teacher. Teacher. He's saying, I was looking for somebody that can open the scroll, even under the earth. <laughs> you only think about hell that is under the earth. You don't know. <laughs> I'm going to zip my mouth. <laughs> If I keep talking, I'm going to get myself in trouble. Let me shut myself. Help us. We want to learn. Why is he looking? Notice he did not say in hell. Yeah. He did not say in the realm of the dead. But I sought even under the earth and there was no one that was worthy. Meaning he was looking among those who are worthy. Yes. Oh my God. He was not looking for those who are not worthy. Okay. Go deep, go deep. So what does that mean? 
just by this verse. There are rankings that are in heaven. There are rankings that are on earth. There are rankings that are in the invisible realm under the earth that are worthy of doing. They have a ranking, a position in heaven that they can cause certain things to happen in heaven that some people that may be in heaven don't have the power to. Wow. 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 I, I, I don't know if I made sense by what I said. Yes. So there are people <laughs> that, that, that are on earth, but they have power to do some things in heaven that creatures that are in heaven cannot. Wow. <laughs> and there are beings that are in heaven. If they come to earth, they have to submit to a person on the earth. Oh my gosh. Father Abraham, send me upon the earth so that I can go and warn my brothers. Mm. Father Abraham says, uh, if they would not listen to Moses and them, yeah. then they would not listen to you. So there's another world under the earth you just don't know. Oh my God. But the problem is many of you are so demonized that everything under the earth is demon. You don't know this God we are serving. Wow. <laughs> oh, we're learning today. Is hell somewhere under there? True. Not a lie. But there are so many dimensions, there are so many realms that one day by God's mercies, as you enter his kingdom, your mind will be opened. You will see things, you'll be like, how could I live so mediocre on earth? Yeah. Dang. <laughs> when Samuel came up, when the woman uh, divined him up. Where did, that, where did Samuel come from? Uh, what does the Bible say? He came from where? Under the ground. I can't hear you. Under the ground. He came from where? Under the ground. Was he by himself? No, there were angels with him. You think you know this world, you don't. <laughs> wow. This may be, that's why I said this wow. may be on some delete stuff. Somebody said Abraham's bosom. No. There's Abraham's bosom and there's other things. Uncle, Uncle Musa is already on the delete tip. <laughs> Tell us all the secrets, sir. Let's carry on. Let's go deep. Read again. Keep going. Somebody said purgatory. Nope. Keep going. <laughs> Verse 16, mm -hmm. for by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth. Mm. Notice Visible. in earth, <laughs> not just on. <laughs> Keep in, going. Oh my. <laughs> Keep that going. are in earth, visible and invisible, uh -huh. whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. Stop right there. Whether they be thrones, dominions, principalities, or powers. Notice, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Everything about this place we are living in is a copy of somewhere else. <laughs> That's why Jesus spoke about mansions. But mm. you think we are the first ones to build mansions. No, we are not. Oh, my God. Good. The earth is simply a mirror of, or, or, or mirror is like direct reflection, but no, that, that's not a very accurate term. But it's literally a copy of a copy. Mm. Now, the kingdom system did not come from man, it came from God. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Mm -hmm. Meaning the earth also was created to carry out the will of who? God. God. Mm. Mm. Because if it's somewhere he is going to rule, then he's going to maintain the same system across. Mm -hmm. Because that's how God is. Are we together so far? Yes, we're here. 
So when God created both visible and invisible in heaven and on earth, there's something that God established. Thrones, dominion, principalities, and then powers. Thrones, dominions, principalities, and powers. The Bible says he who descended is the same one that ascended above all heavens. Right? And we are seated with Christ where? In heavenly places. Above what? Above what? Principalities, powers, and what? I, I, guys, you are... Um, <laughs> Auntie Benz, can you say it? We are seated above what? Uh-huh. 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 Notice that. Notice there's one guy not mentioned in this thing. Mm. Thrones is not mentioned. Oh. Oh, wow. But it is mentioned, but you're not catching it. You are seated. Of all the angelic rankings that fell, thrones never did. Because thrones is not just, they are not just spiritual beings, but they are also a place that you are positioned in. Are you still here? Yes. Satan, when you read in Isaiah or you read Ezekiel when they are speaking about him, there is something that the devil wanted to do. What did he say I will do? I will lift up what? My Not myself. My throne. Mm. Let's go offline. I'm, <laughs> let, let, me, let me stop. Satan knew he cannot be exalted in the spiritual realm if his throne is not lifted. Wow. Wow. His place of influence was because he was anointed. Why is he anointed? Because you are anointed for appointment. He was appointed a place. Yes. But the throne he was given was a low class throne. That is why when you look at where Satan was, he was not in the high heavens at all. He desired to ascend. He said, I will ascend after my throne has been exalted. He said, I will lift up my throne, not me, my throne, above the clouds, above the stars, wow. above, and I will be seated in the council in the north, and I will be like the most high. Yes. So if the throne is not exalted, the person cannot be exalted. Wow. Good. Wow. Wow. When Satan was kicked out, he was kicked out, but his throne remained. Mm. Break it down. He was thrown, but his throne remained. I fear to teach this spiritual reality stuff because some of you just like the regular stuff, so maybe sometimes it's better to stay in that. 2023 is new. There is a, there is a reason why I am telling you this. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Genesis 1 and 26. Uh -huh. And it reads, And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over Stop the... Stop right there. You can never have dominion unless you have a throne. Yeah. Hey. Wow. No throne, no dominion. The reason why you can cast out demons, the reason why you can pull down the works of the devil, the reason why you can scatter him, is because he has no throne. Yeah. 
Anyone that has no throne has no power of influence because it is from the place of thrones that decrees are made that dominions and powers and principalities carry it out. If there is no throne, you have no power of declaration. If there is no throne, you have no power to rule anything. That is why it says what? What, what does the Bible say? It says we shall sit in Christ, with Christ. Why are we sitting? Because if you know the kingdom system, a king cannot make a decree unless he's on his throne. Oh my God. If he's off his throne, he's a regular person. The moment he sits on that throne. Come on, come on. Power. So when Satan was thrown into the earth, he thought he could reclaim man's throne. Uh, okay. Break it down, break it down. We're here, we're here. Let me give you an example before I go deep into this thing. If you read in scripture, mm -hmm. in places where the power of God was so visible, that whether you believed in God or not, you saw it mm -hmm. consistently, continually, was when God's earthly throne was established. Mm. When the Ark of the Covenant was built, even people could see when God came down. Mm. Anyone who tried to fight Israel lost. Mm -hmm. that they decided, you know what, we need to steal their ark because if we have their ark, yes. we will have, they will not be powerful anymore. They stole the ark, the ark made them sick, they had to send it back. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Thrones are important. Amen. Amen. Teachers, teachers. The Bible says God who is enthroned between the cherubims. Mm. Because God's throne at that time on the ark was two cherubims. It was, and it was designed after a heavenly throne. <laughs> it was not an earthly design. Wow. It was an earthly design inspired from heaven. God told him specifically how to do it. Mm -hmm. And he said, I will come and I will sit. If you're here, just let me see number one before I go deep into this number thing. One, just one. type one, just type one, type one. Before I go too deep into this. Hey, sh I changed here. my mind, woman of God. Can I have a... Tea, please. Hot one. I touched it. Did you add ice? Hey, it just became extra cold. <laughs> okay, people online are listening. Guys, don't ask other questions. Just focus on this. Some people are asking, what does 9-11 nine, uh, mean? I keep seeing it. Don't worry about that right now. Let's just focus okay. on this. There are times we'll do interpretation of things, but this is not that time. What you're listening is better than seeing yes. 911. Amen. Thank you. So hear me by the Holy Spirit. If God's will is to be done on earth, there are certain spiritual offices that have to be occupied. Because the rulership of God in all his kingdoms, both visible and invisible, have the same things. That is why he said, whether visible or invisible, mm -hmm. in heaven or on earth, whether they be thrones, whether they be dominions, whether they be principalities of powers, they are all created by him. Mm -hmm. So it means that they are thrones physically and spiritually. Mm -hmm. Mm. Let me explain it. Mm -hmm. There is somebody on earth that is occupying a throne in heaven. Mm. 
And there is somebody on earth who was supposed to occupy a throne that hasn't occupied a throne. Wow. So to God, those are lost thrones because if those thrones are not occupied, his will cannot be done. You will be filled with the Holy Spirit. Yes. As a child of God, you give your life to Christ our Lord. You lift your hands. You ask him genuinely. He will fill you with the Spirit. It is the Father's great pleasure. But it doesn't mean you're occupying a throne. This is why there are men you can meet. They will say one word. Your whole life changes. And there are men you will meet. They will pray for you. Nothing will change. Yeah. Some things may change, but big things cannot change. Why? Not everybody is occupying a throne. Oh, this is so good. Keep going. This is great. So there are so many children of God that are appointed a place. But many have not gotten to that place to occupy a throne. Because whoever is able to occupy a throne, to be seated on a throne, has both physical and spiritual influence to carry out the will of God. Mm. Mm. Is this making sense? Yes. This is why Satan was fighting for his throne to be lifted. Because mm. even though he is a cherubim, and there are other cherubims that were in the presence of God. You know, many of you think Satan met God. He never met God. He never even knew God. What do I mean he never knew God? He never had an experience with God. Not every angel meets God. The ones that meet God are those who have a throne. Mm. Wow. Wow. Because those are the ones that take something from God and pass it on to everybody. This is why Daniel meets Gabriel and Gabriel tells him, your prince Michael, meaning Michael is so high ranked in heaven that to human beings is considered a prince. Wow. Wow. Are you guys listening yes. to me? Yes, we are here. No angel has the power to pass judgment on man unless they are on a throne. It doesn't matter how you make an angel upset. He cannot operate out of his own will if he's not on a throne. Good example. The father of John mm -hmm. is in the temple. Gabriel appears to him, mm. gives him great, amazing tidings. And he doubts Gabriel. Did you hear what Gabriel says? He says, I am Gabriel who standeth in the presence, who, who, who is before God. I stand before the presence of God. You doubt me. Why did he need to say who he was? He expected this guy to know the place he occupies in heaven. He said, I am Gabriel, who stands in the presence of God. Because you have doubted me, you will not speak until this child is born. He did not say because God said he said, I am offended yeah. that I am speaking to you as Gabriel. Not any, he didn't mention anybody law. He said, me, Gabriel, I am talking to you and you doubt me. You're not going to speak. Meaning he became emotional. Mm. Angels are emotional. Whoa. He felt offended. He's like, what? Do you, do you, do you know who I am? Wow. Do you know where I am in heaven? Notice he pointed out a location. Yeah. You see, the mighty angel who shouted, who can open this seal? He was mighty, but he was not a throned angel. Because if he was, he may have known the insight that the seven spirits and the 24 elders who stand before, who sit and stand before God know. That is why an elder was like, let me go and help these guys. Mm. 
So the devil wanted his throne to be lifted because he understood if I am my if my throne can be moved from this dimension to this dimension to this level to that level then I will become more like the most high. So there's a mystery many of you don't know. Just because an angel is a seraphim doesn't mean he's high ranked in heaven. You can be a seraphim but you're in the low heavens. The only time you hear about seraphims that are in his presence are the, f are the two that fly, shouting holy, holy. You don't hear about other seraphims being in his temple. Okay, I think I'm... To, am I, I, oh, this is, good. is this messing with you? Or, um, We're learning. I, are you hearing me? Yes. There are only two wow. mentions that are where God is. And they cover themselves, shouting, adoring God. The four living creatures, who are the four cherubims also, they are also in God's presence. There's only how many? Four. But we know there are more than four cherubims. And then there is the 24 elders. These are the only guys that are seeing God face to face. So whenever God wants to do something, it goes through these people to get to the whole visible or invisible created realms. Wow. 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 Adam had a throne set up that he did not occupy. What? He was to occupy it but sin made him lost, lose his throne. Oh, man. This is great. The devil also thought that he could take it, but he could not. This is why when you see the devil talking to Jesus, our Lord, in the wilderness, the devil says something interesting. He says, Here are all the kingdom of this world. They were given to me, and I can give it to anybody. He said, I can give you kingdoms, but the devil has no throne. Yeah. Oh my God. So he doesn't have any kingdom. Oh my God. Because God can enthrone you. You go to a different country and win the whole country for Jesus. And whatever demon that was trying to control that place is crushed, that whole place goes to Christ. Wow. The reason why they can be crushed is because they have no throne. So their rulership is a, is a, is a, is a, um, what is the word I'm looking for? It's, a, it's, a, it's against spiritual law. It's against spiritual law. They don't have the right to do that. That is why you find that in the book of Revelation, it says there are demons that will be permitted, they will be given power to do certain things, meaning they will have the permission to do what they want and nobody will interfere with them until they carry out what they need to, but they have to be appointed to do that. This is why many of you are afraid of Satan for no reason. Now, when the Lord Jesus came on earth, died, and rose again, the Lord Jesus took two thrones. One throne that occupies his body <laughs> and one throne that occupies his spirit. Oh my God. Wow. Come on, man. Come on, keep going. <laughs> I'm afraid to continue. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Please. We need more thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, y'all. Let's get the likes going. If you're still here, push one. We're going somewhere. Mm. <laughs> wow. Mm. 
The Bible says Jesus sits on the throne of who? I can't hear you. David. Please speak to me like you mean it. David. Jesus sat on the throne of his father who? David. Did Jesus sit on a throne when he was on earth? But our Lord Jesus carried the influence of a king. Yes. He controlled the whole country. That the Pharisees didn't even know how to touch him. That's why Jesus gave himself up. They had to lie and Jesus had to surrender. Even Pilate was like, you know I can free you, said. You really think this world is my kingdom? Do you think if this was... I, they would just give me up. Yeah. Say, I lay it down my life. Don't worry, the fault is not with you. Yeah. Yeah. The reason why Pilate was actually, you see, when Pilate wanted to release the Lord, it was not really Pilate speaking. He was being influenced. Because if Jesus being on the throne yes. is persecuted and killed unjustly, yes. it breaks the system of the earth. so much that is why hell could not hold the lord jesus yeah. because he was blameless and sinless so when he entered hell hell broke <laughs> because how did you allow a throne to get in here so when throne got in there he took he did not ask he did not beg he took the yes. keys And when he took the keys, he gave it to us. Why did he give us the keys? Because it is only a throne that can delegate power and dominion. So God worked a spiritual loophole to destroy hell. This is when they say, Jesus, son of... Jesus, he ignored them. Jesus ignored them. When he said, son of David, oh. he invoked the throne. Wow. The throne made Jesus attend to him. Wow. Somebody type the lost thrones of God. The lost thrones of God. Okay, go ahead. You are, you have a question before I give you scriptures. Yeah, go ahead. So, is the millennial reign when Jesus claims his physical throne? Yes, everyone will see him for the thousand years. Yes, that you've gone to another dimension. But even look at that. Still, it says you will rule with him. Right. You will sit with him. Right. Remember the 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 two apostles came with their mother. And they said, Lord, when you enter your kingdom, allow one of my son to sit on your left and one on, my, on your right. right. Jesus said, you guys don't know what you're asking for. Wow. But how did they know that they needed to be seated? It's because they understood the kingdom system. Oh, got it. There is a throne in your family. You need to recover it. Let me talk to people online. There was something the Lord God Almighty wanted to do in your family. But without anyone ever grabbing the throne that was established, the will of God cannot actually manifest in that place. Because you will not have the power to make decrees and they will come to pass. You see, when Esther ran into the king's chamber, she was supposed to die by law. But because the king is on the throne, he could change the law anytime. When you occupy a throne, people who are supposed to die, you can save them and bring them to Christ. 
you can break those things that are holding them and bring them to the Lord Jesus. Let's read some verses. <laughs> Psalms 122 from verse 1 to 5. Psalms 122, mm -hmm. verse 1 to 5. Yes. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. This is why you need to be glad when you're going to church. Mm, amen. Keep, keep going. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Jerusalem is builded mm -hmm. as a city that is compact together. Mm -hmm. Whether the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, mm -hmm. unto the testimony of Israel, mm -hmm. to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. For there are set thrones of judgment, the Ooh. thrones of the house of David. Oh, there are set thrones of judgment. That, notice, there are set thrones of judgment. Keep reading. The thrones of the house of David. There are thrones in the house of who? David. David. David had one throne, but there are other thrones that were set up because of David. Oh. Break it down. We're ready. Read verse 5 again. Verse 5. For there are set thrones of judgment. Now let's, let's understand what throne means the place of power, place okay. of dominion, place of control. Judgment means justice. Many of you, when you read the word judgment, you think punishment. When he says, I am the Lord who loves judgment, it means I am the Lord who loves to give justice. Okay, amen. Because a judge is there to give justice. He's not there to punish. That's not the duty of a judge. Okay, amen. The judge's duty is to give you what you what? Deserve. That's good. This is why I always love people. Who, I'm sorry, forgive me. Don't be offended. I am saying this so that you can mature in Christ. Amen. Yeah. Thank you. This is why I always laugh at people who say, we are going to go to the court of heaven and plead our case. You don't know you are a judge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's no way it says go and plead your case. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, man. For there are set thrones in the house of David. They are set thrones. He did not say they are occupied, but they are set. Mm. And these thrones are in the house of David. And they are thrones of what? Judgment. Please read it again for me. Verse 5. For there are set thrones of judgment, mm -hmm. the thrones of the house of David. The thrones of the house of David. So the house of David established to what? Thrones. So when Jesus came and he rose up again, what does it say? For we are seated with Christ Jesus. He enthroned us in those thrones that were set, but no one was occupying. Thrones were set. This is why the Pharisees were shocked. How did the apostles become so powerful all of a sudden? It is because, you see, in a kingdom, people can pass who were sitting on a throne, but the throne is the same. Prince Charles is sitting on the throne of his mother. His mother was sitting it from the one before. And the one before sitting yeah. before the one before. Before the one before. Be the power is the same, different people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. So if somebody is not on a throne, they cannot delegate power. Somebody with a throne can produce dominion. But somebody who is not on a throne cannot have dominion. That's why it's always funny when people say, take up your authority from who? From where? Yeah. Who delegated it to you? Who gave it to you? Oh, my goodness. 
This is why the Pharisees always asked, they asked John, by whose authority are you doing this? They even asked Jesus, by whose authority are you doing this? It's because they knew you cannot have authority unless it's delegated to you. The church doesn't understand the kingdom of heaven. They think everyone has authority. Yeah. No. Come on. Come on. If it was true, we would have all been functioning the same. Yeah. This is why there is no humility in the church to learn from one another, to be prayed for by others, to be laid hands on by others, is because everybody thinks everyone is the same. Uh, there's a there's a message that uh, uh, Prophet Ije had forwarded to me about somebody that wrote some some nonsense to him. So I clicked the guy's profile. I saw first a message. The person was asking me for two months. Going, oh, please mentor me. Please mentor me. I know God can. Me then after that, the person all of a sudden after months because I had get so many uh, messages, but I just saw it because. He sent it to me, he was just sending to me, he said, look at these people. They don't know what they are doing. So I go into the person's message, I see the first message, I see the second message. Please mentor me, I just know I'm called into the prophetic, this and this and this. Uh, six months later, about six months later, the person is now a prophet. The person sends me a video, says, the Lord Jesus said, repent or judgment is coming. Oh. Oh, so sometimes I'm petty, forgive me. <laughs> I actually responded I said thank you very much <laughs> he said something I told him so what did God say so that I can repent Because God cannot tell you to give somebody a message without knowing where they went wrong. Uh, deep. That's good. Mm. Crickets for a second. <laughs> then they responded with something else. I said, you see, you, you, you can't even hear God. Instead of humbling yourself so that you're taught, so that you can mature and serve the purpose God has given you. Oh, man, I don't, that's what the devil tells me. I, 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 can't, I, I, I love Jesus. I'm a humble servant. I say, okay. He made a quote that he misquoted scripture. I asked him, are you sure that's what the verse said? Uh, uh, you know what, I'm, I'm not even going to debate the scriptures because, you know, we don't need the word like that. I just, I just said, one day you learn to be quiet so that you can be taught, so that you grow. And that was the last communication. Wrote a bunch of things else. And you understand that we all want something so bad, but we don't understand how God works. We don't know how that works. If somebody is endorsed by God and God hasn't endorsed you, you need to ask yourself, what realm are they operating from? Where has God positioned them? So they are set thrones. They are set thrones that are waiting to be occupied. But they haven't yet been occupied. Anyone that is in Christ is a new creation born from above. When Christ our Lord was on earth, he said, Behold, I give you authority and power. But when he resurrected, 
He did not just give us authority and power. He gave us access to thrones. He said, you are seated in heavenly places. It was not just authority and power over demons. This extended far beyond just demonic forces. Influence in the spiritual realm now. Because you being in God, it is obvious to deal with demons and to deal with the power of darkness. Because he's already a lesser being than us who are in Christ. But the influence now is in the realm of the spirit. But specifically in heaven. When Abraham met Melchizedek, and he outgave Melchizedek. Mm -hmm. Melchizedek blessed him. What did he say? Blessed is Abraham, possessor yeah. of heaven and earth. Abraham possessed something in heaven. Somebody said the first tithe. No, it's not. The first tithe was with Cain and Abel. He possessed something in heaven. Do you know what the word possess means? He controlled. Can you go to that scripture quickly? Where Abraham meets Melchizedek. Let's go there quickly. Somebody wrote ownership by authority. That's good. Uh, I'm, I'm about to bring this to a close. Then I think we'll do part two, how to recover thrones. Genesis 14. Mm -hmm. Sorry. And verse 17. Mm -hmm. Actually, wait, wait, sorry. Genesis 14 from 19. Mm -hmm. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram of the Most High God, possessor mm -hmm. of heaven and earth. Hmm. Blessed is Abram of the Most High God. Possessor of heaven. So the first human being to recapture a throne in the spirit was Abraham. Because of what he did, he positioned himself spiritually to possess something in heaven. Abraham was the first person. Whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. You can't do that without a throne. Wow. Because heaven must follow what you want. Wow. A human being possessing heaven, how? Wow. How? That's why Father Abraham is a dangerous man. He was not a small boy. Uh, <laughs> there's a reason why he's called Father. Because through him, generations have found access to thrones. You see, Adam's dominion was for the earth. It was not for the spiritual world. Mm. So when you see men in power on earth, they are simply using a fallen throne that is no long, longer is, uh, recognized by heaven. Oh, wow. So they can have control of fleshly things, earthly things, but they never have impact 
that can last generations. Wow. Somebody asked something on, on uh, Facebook real quick. Let me see. Thank you for your super chat too. It says, uh, Papa, true leaders who are called to multitudes of people are the ones who are on thrones. Also to be a leader, you must have influence in both spiritual. Yes, but to be called doesn't mean you are chosen. You are supposed to, because you are supposed to display the power of God. You are supposed to show the strength of God. You are supposed to do these things but it doesn't mean that you have done it. And, and we, are going to, uh, and we are going to speak about these things in depth. Um, when, um, when, when we come back with part two. Amen. But let me, let me give you one more verse for tonight. I don't want to keep you all too, too long. Luke 20, you know what, let's read Ezekiel 26, 16. Let me mess you up before we go. <laughs> Ezekiel 26 and verse 16. Mm -hmm. Then all the princes of the sea shall come down from their thrones. Uh, see, read that again. <laughs> then all the princes of the sea shall come down from their thrones mm -hmm. and lay away their robes and put off their broidered garments. Mm -hmm. They shall clothe themselves with trembling. Mm -hmm. They shall sit upon the ground and shall tremble at every moment mm -hmm. and be astonished at thee. <sighs> they are evil kingdoms. <laughs> mm -hmm. Marine spirits. Demonic powers wow. that are sitting on false thrones. Because you see, Adam was supposed to control the sea, control the land, control mm -hmm. the air, control these things. So, and his now control over the earth was lost. These spirits took over and men were put in those positions by demons. Why? Because the rulership of God cannot work the way he wants it to because he established it to work through men. So even demons cannot rule without men. They need human beings to be at certain positions in order for them to do what they want to do. Without that, it cannot work. This year, in the name of the Lord Jesus, may you recover the throne that was assigned for your family. Amen. The Bible says it like this. Amen. The Bible says it like this. All the families of the earth will be blessed because of the seed. Meaning we are supposed to sit in a position whereby we can be a blessing to people both physically and spiritually. Amen, amen. amen. Oh, amen. Again. I want this to start being stirred up in your spirit, saying, Lord, I am seated with you, but am I really seated right now? Yeah. Because if I'm seated with you, my words must be powerful. Wow. When I call on you, I must see your move because you're my God, you're my Father. You see, we, we, sometimes we are so blinded by blind faith, yet faith must see. If I am doing something and it's not working, I need to examine what is not working. That is called maturity, and that is called wisdom. If I see something not working out as it should, I need to be on the, hmm, why is this not working? What am I missing? What is going wrong? I need to know what is happening. We need to be like that. 
Amen. children of God. Amen. We must be like that. There is no other way. It is the only way to be. If not, we are going to blame everything on other people. We are going to blame everything on, on, on oh yeah, that, that's why some people have become uh, so useless that everyone that has power now, it's either demonic or it's gimmicks, they are lying to people. They find comfort in that to suit themselves, to say, at least we have the Bible. Yet the Bible is saying, the kingdom of God is not in word, but it's in the demonstration of the power of the Spirit. The demonstration of power and the Spirit. But they'll say, no, the word of God is enough for me. God said it's not enough. God said it's not enough. He says the gifts of God are for the edification of the church. Yes. Meaning the, word, the church does not only need the word. The word is important. But the, word does, the church doesn't only need the word. It needs the manifestation of God. That's what encourages the body. Not just words. Amen. But they find comfort in that to suit themselves so that they can sleep well at night to say, I am better than yours, than you. Because they forget Matthew chapter 6. Father, I thank you that I'm not like those guys. And that those guys are like, Father, I'm not even worthy of looking to heaven. God receives them more than these other guys. Why? Because they pride themselves in we read the word. The word is all we need. Yeah, God is saying, no, my friend, you need more than that. I did not give gifts so that they are shelved. I did not give you power so that it's just, you just read words. The world doesn't need words. They are real demons. Some of them don't even believe that they are demons. Yet you, okay, this is just, let's just show you how blinded they are with themselves. If there are no demons, why are there Masonic temples? temples? Yeah. Why are there occultic secret groups? Yeah. Why are all these things there? You are claiming there are no demons, but physically you walk around, you find a Masonic temple, you find an occultic thing there, you find this one there. Okay, so what is happening? These people are just delusional. And the worst thing about it all is they always think they are smarter than everyone else. Yes. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. Be somebody that hungers to see the Lord Jesus. Be somebody that hungers to walk with Jesus. Not just words, not ideas, not thoughts, but somebody that is in action with God. This is necessary. Because majority of the world is walking away from God. Because they rather go to a tarot card reader. Yeah. They rather go to a medium across the street. They rather join a secret sect and see something. Yet, God is, a, is alive and well. Powerful and capable. Yes. But because men want comfort zone. Until they're in big trouble. I'm telling you this and you remember what I'm telling you. Some of them that you've seen talking about some great men of God, including myself, you'll see them very soon, either seeking us to help them in prayer or you'll see one, of, one by one of them falling. you remember what I'm telling you. And we are not saying that because you want anything bad to happen. That's not the goal. But you can't touch God and just walk away. When God is saving souls. Yeah. Mm -mm, it doesn't go down like that. I want you to grab the best that you have. Mm. And I want you to go and give it to God. Prayerfully. Grab something that means something to you. Prayerfully. Go and give it saying, Father, I reclaim what you established in our family, what you established for us to carry out on this earth. Lord Jesus, I, I am taking it. Desire that thing that is heavenly. Don't just desire material things. They are not bad. 
desire what is heavenly. Because once you get that one, once you get that one, everything else becomes easy. Go quickly and do it and then we'll be back. Worship and bow down, for He is our God. He is our God. Let us make a joyful sound unto our God. Unto our God. Let us worship and bow down, for He is our God. He is our God, let us make a joyful sound Unto our God, unto our God He's been good to us, good to us, so good He's been good to us, good to us, so Hallelujah, all our days. 
unto our God, unto our God, let us sing our highest praise, for He is our God, He is our God. Place for my future like Romo. I used to keep taking the wrong road. Now watch how I'm breaking these strongholds. Yeah, you made me beautiful. You know that you to go. You came and gave me a song. I was lost. Now I'm found. Then you sent me. I was blind. Now I see 2020. I give thanks for the day that you came into my life. Where would I be? If it hadn't been for the Lord who was on my side. Somebody t-shirt on graven. You could hear the choir singing about grace and could have been shot down like my brother died for his journey. Could have been laying out in the street, you know where the chalk is. That's why I'm grateful when I wake up in the morning. Cause I stay up in my father's hand like spalding. No lie, we talking serious. Hospital room feeling delirious. You took my grand to a garden, took a broken hearted back to where it started. Say thank you. Wish I had enough to repay you. This when it's all said and done. I can only give the credit for love.
God bless you. This is Prophet Lovi Elias Houston. It is your time, March 31st at the Smart Financial Center in Sugarland. It's going to be a night of the prophetic deliverance, healing, and it's going to be a restoration season for you. Make sure you mark it down. Make sure you're there March 31st at the Smart Financial Center in Sugarland in Houston, Texas. God bless you. Houston, it is your time. Amen, 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 amen. God bless you. This is Prophet Lovi Elias. Houston, it is your time. March 31st at the Smart Financial Center in Sugarland. It's going to be a night of the prophetic deliverance, healing, and it's going to be a restoration season for you. Make sure you mark it down. Make sure you're there March 31st at the Smart Financial Center in Sugarland in Houston, Texas. God bless you. So again, God bless you, and um, yeah, it's going to be amazing when we come back. I will show you, by the grace of God, how to reclaim what is your birthright Amen. so that you can carry out what God gave you to do on the earth. Um, it's going to be life-changing when we meet again, especially to continue this specific teaching. Tomorrow is life uh, Thursday, so tomorrow is prophetic service, okay. Um, so it probably will be Friday or Saturday that will continue with this, but I'll see you tomorrow for prophetic service. Father, we thank you for your word that, that opens our eyes to know you and to walk after you. We thank you for the manifest power of the Holy Spirit that is working in us, even to reestablish us in the place that you have ordained for us. Father, glorify yourself now and forever in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. I love you all. I'll see you tomorrow. Blessings.